friends, welcome back to the channel. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I was actually kind of just shopping at Dollar Tree as one does when they want to find cool things for cheap. And I came across something that I didn't see there before and it was a candle making kit. And all of them looked a little messed up. I don't know what comes in a candle kit from Dollar Tree. And I didn't expect to find it either. So I have no footage of me actually finding it or buying it or bringing it home. But now it is home. I didn't even look at it, to be honest. I kind of just grabbed it. And I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. And then I brought it home. The box is a little messed up. All of them were like this. Most of them were worse than this. I, I made sure to uh, pick out the best one because only the best for you guys. But this side is not damaged. Just every single other side. Yeah, I honestly don't even know how or what it's gonna smell like. It, it looks like there's three scents across the top. So it's either gonna smell like fresh linen magnolia or coastal breeze i don't know exactly what they'll smell like i mean i have like an idea i guess but you know it's summer so i'm hoping we get some coastal breeze up there and it looks like the directions are just printed on the box and there's four of them fill the jar with the granules and then design them and trim the wick and light it okay it doesn't sound like this is going to be a very complicated process. And I was honestly expecting it to be more of a complicated process. Okay, so it looks like we have these. Oh, they're labeled. That's good. So this is fresh linen. This is magnolia. And that's all we have in there. So the one that I was kind of hoping to get is is not, is, is not in there. I feel like it was supposed to be though but oh well and it came with this as well so it comes with like the wick already inside and it's actually a, a really pretty bottom hopefully it's gonna end up being a really pretty candle i feel like really it's up to my design when i was checking out the um cash cashier literally dropped it <laughs> she dropped the whole thing and she was like, oh, I dropped this. You want to look at it to make sure you still want it? So she kind of just like took it out and showed me like this from like a distance. And she's like, it looks fine. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Just I'll take it. It still looks fine. So that's good. Yeah. So apparently according to the directions, I just put this inside of here. I could design it any way I want. And then you just light it, which is actually very simple. And I'm all about simple things because i have a small simple brain so here's our candle and our magnolia and fresh linen things and my laptop as well um i don't really know what kind of design i want to go for i didn't really have time to brainstorm i just kind of started filming and opened it um i hope the smells when they mix will still smell good i don't really know what to do here i think i'm gonna try to layer the bottom and i'm basically gonna make a design like they do in like those soap making videos where they like push the other color into the first color there's big chunks how do i here this is the most accessible thing i have break down break down i mean it's all gonna melt eventually so i don't understand why I even need to design it. Oh no, it got inside. Ah, ah. I feel like a good hack, cause I see some more big chunks in here. Oh yeah, it's huge. So like, just, oh. Okay, close it, and then break it up in the bag. Oh yeah, that's what I should've done before. So yeah, I guess I'll keep pouring like a little bit more, so it's a thicker layer. And then I'm gonna go in with my fresh linen. Oh, a chunk. What's the point of smashing it if I don't even smash it good enough? I want to even layer. I feel like shaking it will help. 
But honestly, I don't know if that's really the way to go. Now we're going in with the fresh linen. Look at the design. Your girl is a candle artiste. So now you can see that they're layered. You can also see a chunk. I can't really smash the chunks down now. I have to smash them to the side. And then I'm gonna put some more white on top. Basically, it's gonna look pretty striped, I guess. Okay, we ran out of white. I, dang, I should have started this with the fresh linen on the bottom. I wonder if the smell is gonna come in like waves as it like melts, you know? Okay, well, I, I, I just poured the rest on top because like, I ran out of white, so I can't really like design it any differently than it already is right now. This is what it currently looks like. Pretty solid little stripes, I'm, I must say so myself. But now I'm gonna get a little stick thing and stab it through. Pencils are a little stick things. And I'm just gonna start here maybe. And now this is the design. I honestly feel like it probably would have looked a little bit better if I used a skinnier poking stick. It's all right. You can kind of see what I was trying to go for. I just didn't do it well enough. But now I need to find the lighter. Oh, I was supposed to cut the wick to a fourth inch before lighting. What happens if I don't? Could I just let it like burn down? This is such a tiny little candle. Look at this little wax. Give you this huge glass and can you think that you're gonna have more but it's so tiny it's so small oh you know it's not horrible for a dollar tree candle i mean the experience a cute little wavy design think of it as a beach i'll probably cut the tip though that's what they do to men when they're born is that appropriate <laughs> let me find the lighter i got my lighter to be honest the last thing I want to do right now is start a fire. I always feel bad because I live in an apartment. So one, everybody hears. And two, if I start a fire, then it's going to burn down not only my stuff, but everybody else's things. And I would feel really bad. One time I got my toaster for the first time and I like plugged it in and I tried making some toast, you know, for some reason, I still don't even know what happened and I haven't used it since, but it started like smoking and the smoke alarm went off and it was just so awkward and i grabbed like a towel and i was like flapping it at the thing you know as fast as i could but yeah i have not used my toaster since the first time i tried to use it and i don't know what happened your girl can't cook apparently but yeah speaking of that let's see if maybe my calling is making candles so it, it said to cut the wick to a fourth inch i'm just gonna cut it here all right it's not working i'm just gonna cut it here okay it's not working no um i think i need better scissors it's messing up my design no no should i try again same scissors no i shouldn't Oh no, that's not working either. I'm moving it. My design on the outside's okay. But not on the inside, not my green top. Wait, what if I did make a design on the inside? Could I? Could I kind of mix it up? I kind of like it more when it's mixed. You know, bringing some white to the surface lightening it up a bit but still keeping the design on the sides that was the goal with that and it worked man yes it doesn't really look that cool on camera but i feel like it looks better i just need to cut this thing off all right i got cuticle cutters haha <gasps> it worked don't know if that's low but it looks like one fourth of an inch to me we got our waves on the side and our little speckled top. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, will we need to call the fire department? Okay, it's lit. 
I mean, it kind of just looks like a normal candle. I do feel like it's probably gonna melt fast. I mean, it's, it's a cutie. This is gonna get hot, that's for sure. I guess I'll just let that burn for a little bit and give you guys an update a little bit later. Dude, with my fan, I kind of look like, I don't know what it looks like is fitting on my head. I feel like a helicopter. Well, anyways, just always get distracted. I can't focus on anything. It's been getting so bad, but that's besides the point. See, I was getting distracted again by me getting distracted. I mean, it was a tiny little candle. I don't exactly know the final final result. I have a pretty good idea on how it's gonna end up. So far, I mean, the package was a mess and there wasn't much to it, but I feel like it was actually pretty like fun entertaining and there's always at least a tiny sense of accomplishment when you kind of create your own thing it was fun and as a whole um, it was a pretty good experience for a dollar so i mean i recommend checking it out obviously i wasn't expecting too much from projects like this from the dollar tree it was still pretty fun this is like a five minute craft this is what they should have on 5-Minute Crafts instead of half of the things that they do have on 5-Minute Crafts. Little tiny candle making. It's perfect. So it's been probably like 20 minutes now. Um, and I'm just kind of sick of waiting. I mean, I can see how it's going to turn out. Everything just is going to get melted together. And it's going to come out like a bluish. So this is what we've currently got going on. It's just melting from the middle. And in the middle, it's just kind of all coming together as some sort of like blue. It's not like as dark as what's around the outside because it's mixed with the white. And the design on the outside is still there. The glass itself is not hot yet. So that's good. But yeah, I'm. I, we can see where this is going. So I don't want to wait any longer. So that's not the most exciting way to end this video it very well could have ended with my whole apartment burning down so i'm glad that it didn't end that way yeah not too much happened i guess it did exactly what a candle is supposed to do so it works actually it doesn't smell like anything yeah it doesn't it has no scent so i guess technically it doesn't work i don't know really it was more so an experience thing, I guess, rather than an effective product. What do you expect from Dollar Tree, you know? And all Dollar Trees are different. Around the areas that I live, the Dollar Trees aren't necessarily like the best ones. So you might have this at yours, but if you don't have it at yours, just send a respectfully written complaint to your dollar tree people and say that you want the little candle makers so i'm sh I'm sure you'll get some so yeah it was a fun little craft i unfortunately i guess that's all i have for you guys today except for a shout out so today's shout out is going to mary lou russ thank you so much for watching and enjoying the the channel and for everybody else Make sure you're subscribed for a chance to be featured in next week's video. And I'll see you all next time.